So the ERTC 75111 trial um, is a trial that was what was performed um, by EORTC uh, and run in multiple European countries. Uh, and it was actually a trial to investigate whether for patients with elderly, so elderly patients um, with advanced HER2 positive uh, breast cancer. Um, we know these patients do not always tolerate the standard treatments well. Uh, and at most trials whereupon uh, these treatments are based, for example, the Cleopatra trial for the combination of trastuzumab, pertuzumab, deruxtecan, or the Emilia trial uh, for second line treatment with TDM1. Uh, in these trials, elderly patients are underrepresented and the patients that are included are highly selected. So we know that these treatments are not always well tolerated by all elderly patients. So what we wanted to do in our trial um, was to see whether we could find an alternative treatment for these elderly and frail patients. Um, so in this trial, patients uh, were randomized to receive either trastuzumab, pertuzumab, or the combination of trastuzumab and pertuzumab uh, with metronomic uh, cyclophosphamide. So cyclophosphamide, uh, low dose, once daily, for which we know that this is, of course, better tolerated uh, than the intravenous formulation. Um, patients were treated upon progression, and upon progression, were given the option uh, to receive TDM1 uh, within the trial. Um, the primary results have already been published some years ago in the Lancet Oncology. Uh, um, and we saw there that the progression-free survival um, was more promising in the trastuzumab, pertuzumab, cyclophosphamide arm in comparison to the trastuzumab and pertuzumab alone arm, um, and that this treatment uh, seemed to be superior. Um, we recently published now the long-term follow-up, and yeah, let's say that this um, that this early signal has been confirmed um, and that the benefit persists, the benefit that was seen at, the, at that point at six months also persists at 12 months and also at 24 months with almost a 20% uh, absolute benefits in patients um, being progression free at uh, these time points. Overall survival um, was numerically superior this was not statistically statistically significant. However, the trial was also not powered um, for this endpoint, but there was a trend to an overall survival benefit. Um, and there was also no added or little added toxicity um, with, uh, with the addition of cyclophosphamide. So overall toxicity was similar. Um, there was a little bit of excess in, for example, gastrointestinal adverse events, but mostly low grade. There was some excess lymphopenia. However, this is not always clinically uh, very relevant. And there was uh, an, uh, the total number of cardiac adverse events, which is always a worry um, with uh, these anti-HER2 antibodies uh, was low in both arms, but however, also numerically a little higher in the cyclophosphamide arm, which is something that, um, yeah, that should be, be followed closely. Um, quality of life, which we published also in a separate manuscript, uh, was also preserved uh, in both arms. Um, so I guess in summary, we could say that the combination of trastuzumab, pertuzumab, and cyclophosphamide is a very valid treatment option uh, in elderly patients with HER2 positive uh, advanced breast cancer um, with a longer progression-free survival than trastuzumab, pertuzumab alone uh, and without a m major impact on toxicity and quality of life.